Hello, Philip from MindCode here. In this video, I will be covering how to work with the form inputs in a SolidJS library. So let's start working, initialize the projects. You can find the projects in the description of this video, unzip them and open them in your favorite coding editor. After that, go to the terminals or PowerShells and in the project folder, run pnpm install to install dependencies and then npm run dev, all right, npm run dev to run the servers and then on localhost 3000, you should find your project. Uh, you will go to the registration page because you would like to handle the register form. You would like to write the data into the inputs and you would like to retrieve them. Then we'll click on the register button. Okay, so now to our code, let's open SRC folder screens and you have your register.tsx and that's the place where you will start working from. So let's take a look at this structure. What is interesting for us are the inputs, right? So we have an input for the full name, we have an input for the nickname, we have an input for the email, uh, for the avatar and so on. First of all, we need to capture when the user is typing into the input. You can do it in SolidJS by like this. We'll get an input. We will provide here directive called on uh, input, surprisingly. There we will provide a callback function like this in uh, which you will receive the event. So we can pass here event. E or event, whatever works for you. It is the type of the mouse event or actually input event here. You're getting input event on input and to achieve the value, you'll write console. Oops, not that is, but a console log and event current target value. And this will get you the value from the input. So when you will save this, go to the browser, open the console log here, on the right side, and it will be typing here. You will capture this value. Okay, you can see it, you can see it here. Okay, uh, that's all nice, but what we want to, where we want to get this value will be actually in the signal. So you would like to handle it in the reactive way so we can use it for a later, we need to store it somewhere. And we'll store it for now in the signal, it's right here. Cons, got a brackets, call it form, set form, and get here, create signal like this. And initial value of this will be the values of our form. So what we are keeping here, full name, nickname, email, avatar, Password, password confirmation. So let's start writing the initial data. It will be full name, empty string. I will copy it a couple of times. Then we have a nickname, then we have an email, then we have an avatar, then we have a password, then we have a password, uh, password confirmation. Okay, default value for our form data. Now in a console log, or in a in, on input here, we don't want to console log it out, but we would like to set it to the form. So let's write here set form like this. I will provide my previous uh, form data. So I will destructurize my form. Plus I will provide here uh, my new field, which is uh, which will be uh, full name and event current target value like this. Uh, we need to pass your object. So we need to write here curly brackets around all of this, okay, because our, our form is an object, so we are creating the new object where we are setting the rest of the fields from the form, plus we are adding here full name where the value of the full name will be the event current target value. Now we can remove the console log, and oops, and rather here, we can console log the entire form. We can just write a console log, enter a form, and you can stringify it so it's easier to for you to see. json.stringify the entire form. Now let's save this, go back to the console and start writing and you should see the entire form now, right? I'll write here some reasonable name. My mistake, Philip. Here we go, so you can see, here you have the entire form data, full name is Philip, here we go, name is empty, email is empty, avatar is empty, password confirmation and password are empty as well. Of course, because we are setting only my name. If I would uh, get this on input from here to the also nickname, what we need to change here? We need to change the field on which we are accessing, where we are providing the value. Okay, on, this should, shouldn't be full name because this way I would I would override my previous full name, but this should be nickname like this. Now when you will save this, let's write your full name, Philip Yerga, clear it out, and nickname, let's say Philip 99, and you got it here, full name Philip Yerga, nickname Philip 99, perfect. So we are getting this, but currently, the structure of this is not very nice. I need to always provide here. Uh, I, I, 
when I want to create cover more inputs, I need to always reproduce this function to all of our other inputs. We need to change the value of, uh, we need to change the property on which we are providing the value. It's not very reusable, we, and we want to make it as reusable as possible. So uh, one thing to make it reusable would be just simply get the, get the name of the input. You can see the name of the input, full name here in this case, full name. And uh, in the case of uh, nickname, and also all of our other inputs, this property on the on the input is matching our object structure: full name, nickname, email, avatar, password, password confirmation. We'll see it on each input. We have this name property. Then the name of this is matching our property on our object, so we can use it. We can use it, use it, use it to make it more reusable. So, for example. On the first full name here, I can uh, write here const key, and the key to st store the value on the project will be event dot uh, current target and the name, which will get me full name. This is name. This name here is the name from here. All right, and now. I can get this key and I can pass it here instead of the full name, but it has to be when you're providing the value from the variable in a square brackets like this. And the same thing, I can just simply copy this. I can copy the entire thing now and I can pass it here. And now this will work for both of the fields and it will save this. Go back here and write here full name. Now let's provide here nickname. You will see everything works as before, but now we have made it more reusable. Okay, the functions now can be reused, so we can put this into its own uh, into its own function, this functionality. So I can create up here function, const uh, handle input, where we'll receive the event. All right, event, we need to specify the type for the event, so when you will go and hover over, you can see it's uh, event of uh, input event and uh, we have also current target and the target on it. You can just simply copy this type. Let me let me copy it from it. Ah, I cannot just, ah, I cannot click there. Input event. All right, it looks like we need to write it manually. Uh, sometimes I don't like Visual Studio. <laughs> okay, so let's write it here, type. Let's call it uh, glider, uh, glider input event. And this is input event and uh, what we have there, current target, I don't remember type, I'll just write here this and target like this and I will check it one more time. Type of this current target and target is, the current target is HTML input element and element target. So HTML input element and this is just element. Okay, so this will be our glider input event which I will provide here and now we can uh, get this functionality copy it simply paste it here all right and now we can copy handle input and i can get it to all of our inputs so here copy this and just simply get it on all of our all of the inputs here okay we can continue with all of them email avatar uh, password password confirmation all this will work just well, now let's save this, uh, get back to the code, and let's try it out. So Philip Yerga, Philip99, uh, email test at gmail.com, avatar, HTTPS, uh, blah, 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 doesn't really matter, password 123, 123. Um, clear it out, let's write here something just to any input so we can see the Console, like you can see Philip Pierre Garnick, name Philip 99, email test at gmail.com, avatar, HTTPS, password 123, password confirmation 123. Yeah, so everything works. Now we have made it in a reusable way. Perfect. Now, a couple of improvements. How can we improve this? Is basically just get the name and the value uh, on one line. You can just do it by the structurization. You can write your const. You can get the name and the value like this from the event current target. This way I will remove the key, and here I will provide a name, and here I will provide a value. This would be 
do it in a reusable way. You can verify this works, of course. This, we didn't do any drastic changes, right? You can see everything broke as before. Okay, other improvements. Uh, you can see how when, I will create a, when I'm working with the signals, I need to always provide here, I need to create a new object every time, provide the rest of the values from the object and create a new property. We can change the signals to create a store with the stores. Uh, in my opinion, I like to work with the stores uh, better when I'm working with the objects with the multiple properties. I just I will change the create signal to create create store. You need to import create store so you can remove the create signal and it will import create uh, create store from uh, solid .js slash store like this. Now you can change the syntax how you uh, setting this. So to the store when you're calling the set form now but where the function is set form now it's a uh, part of the store, you are setting the value differently. You just need to provide the key and value. So I can just provide here as a key on the object, uh, which is the, will be name, right? So this will be name depending on the input. So this can be either full name, nickname, email, avatar, password, or password confirmation. And the value from the input, which you can provide like this. So set form, name, and, uh, and the value. And here just on stringify, this is not any longer a getter function, so you can just simply call form without providing uh, brackets for the execution of the function because form is not any longer a function. Uh, here you are getting issue. You can see uh, type of argument string because this can become this can be any string you will receive here. Handle input can you have like, more forms, and they can hold values for the for the names different that are defined in your form here, so they can be. They can be different as, as a full name, nickname, email. We can maybe create an input where you will have, I don't know, telephone number or something. So this can be any string, but form is defined to have only these values. So that's why the TypeScript is not uh, happy because it thinks that you can get a different value than you have defined in your form. So to overcome this, we can just simply create a type for a register form like this. You will get all these values, pro provide the types for them. So each one of, of them is string, right? So just simply copy all of these values, they get them as the strings. All right, and we will define type of the create store, this object, it will be data type of the register form. So in the pointy brackets, I will say that this form will be register form type. And here, as I'm getting the name, I will, I will tell here, the name will be as a key of, of a register form, and this should disappear. And now we, are, we can console look the form, right? Let's write here a full name, okay, nickname. And everything works great. You can see these data are displayed here. Uh, now we don't need to display the data every time, but we want to display them when we are clicking register. So we can remove the console log here and we can create here a function called uh, handle submit. This will be for submission of the form. And simply just console log, console log here, console log uh, JSON stringify uh, form here, and we'll call handle submit whenever we'll click register button, which we need to go down, 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 down to the register. And here we just simply write on click, and we'll provide here handle submit. Now you save it, and you now you are handling the entire form data, so you can write here Philip Yerga, nickname Philip ninety nine email test at gmail.com avatar https some website when you have avatar doesn't really matter password one two three password confirmation one two three register and now you got all of your data here so now we successfully captured all of the form data so that's all gonna be it from this uh, explanation i hope you have learned something new as you can see these five features are very simple to create with solid.js I have also full course covering uh, creation of the entire application for sending messages. We will be in the course handling the entire, the entire thing. We'll be also validating the inputs. There will be more fu more functionalities behind this. Also, we'll be displaying the errors and so on and so on. So all of these features are covered in the course. You can find in the description of this video, or you can see the link in the on on the video right now. Okay, that's gonna be it from this, and I hope to see you around. Cheers.